Hello, I'm David Hughes. Welcome to Your Perfect Body, the podcast of the esoteric teaching community. Today's selection is an essay entitled Three Circles of the Teaching. The community of the esoteric teaching is divided into three circles, levels, or associations. The exoteric circle, the mesoteric circle, and the esoteric circle. The exoteric circle is the association of candidates. The mesoteric circle is the association of initiates. And the esoteric circle is the association of masters. To move from the ordinary life of spiritually unconscious humanoids to the exoteric circle, from the exoteric circle to the mesoteric circle, and from the mesoteric circle to the esoteric circle, one must acquire the mystic keys to open the secret gates of the esoteric teaching. This is accomplished by hearing the esoteric teaching, or the absolute truth, directly or indirectly from a master teacher who has realized it. This is the inner structure and process of all authentic esoteric schools. The esoteric teaching is simply the contemporary manifestation of a long tradition of such Vedic esoteric schools. The exoteric circle is the association of neophyte spiritual students or candidates. It is the exterior social organization of the esoteric school and its interface with the rest of human society. One enters the exoteric circle from ordinary life by using the key of desire to enter the gate of association. In practice, this is done by reading books, listening to special CDs or podcasts, or attending public classes and seminars presented by those who are already students or initiates of the esoteric teaching. The candidates of the exoteric circle are the most numerous compared to the other circles, which are far more exclusive and difficult to attain. Anyone can attend the public meetings, classes, and other public events of the exoteric circle simply by desiring to know the truth. This podcast, for example, is a typical function of the exoteric circle. One develops the desire and receives the faith to advance in spiritual life by the association of candidates. And so the association of the exoteric circle begins the process of becoming an initiate by entering the mesoteric circle through the gate of initiation using the key of wisdom. The mesoteric circle is an esoteric school composed of full-time disciples or initiates. These intermediate students in the esoteric school withdraw from material activities to dedicate their lives to learning the intricacies of the spiritual technology of the esoteric teaching. They are in touch with the absolute truth and have access to highly confidential material. When their knowledge matures, they may teach the beginning subjects of the esoteric teaching to others. One enters the mesoteric circle from the exoteric circle by attaining the key of wisdom and entering the gate of initiation. This is done by full participation in the work of the esoteric teaching as a student, helper, or assistant teacher, demonstration of exemplary character enthusiasm and trustworthiness, following the suggestions and instructions of the master teacher to his satisfaction, making a lifelong personal commitment to the mission of the esoteric teaching, and acceptance of spiritual community life and service in close cooperation 
and association with the master teacher. The initiates are comparatively few because they are a select group. Usually a master teacher accepts no more than 12 initiates at any one time to preserve the quality of instruction. The esoteric circle is composed of realized souls or masters who have qualified themselves to receive the complete self-revelation of the absolute truth. These are the graduate students in the esoteric school. They have already mastered the subjects needed for their own spiritual perfection, so they dedicate their lives to teaching and helping others. It is not easy to become a master. Mastery of the esoteric teaching has to be earned by direct personal revelation of the absolute truth. Mastery is the result of many lifetimes of difficult effort and arduous testing. Therefore, masters are the rarest of all human beings. One enters the esoteric circle from the mesoteric circle by attaining the key of devotion and entering the gate of realization. This is earned by pleasing one's spiritual master teacher, by rendering significant service to the mission of the esoteric teaching, which is to uplift suffering humanity by spreading spiritual technology and esoteric knowledge all over the world. Mastery is the most advanced stage of spiritual life. Master teachers of the esoteric teaching have attained complete spiritual freedom. They may, at their discretion, form new esoteric schools based upon the principles of the esoteric teaching. The title of Master Teacher is never awarded by the majority vote of a committee of fallible human beings, but it is the natural result of attaining full spiritual realization. It is very difficult, if not impossible, for an ordinary person to understand the true stature of a Master. The Master Teacher extends the esoteric teaching into the material universe to make it accessible to ordinary humans. As Jesus stated, the Master is the gate and the way. No one comes to the Absolute Truth except through the mercy of a Master Teacher. So I'd like to make a few comments on this structure of the esoteric teaching. The esoteric teaching is divided into three circles. Now, I didn't make this division, uh, but this is very traditional in our ancient uh, materials. <clears throat> uh, the first stage is known as the exoteric circle, and that is the association of candidates. In Sanskrit, that's called kanishta adhikari. Uh, kanishta means materialistic. And adhikari means one who is authorized. So if you look at the picture of the three circles of the esoteric teaching, you'll notice there's a path. And there are three gates along that path. And to reach the level of the path of the outer circle, the exoteric circle, uh, one has to pass through this gate of association. And you notice the gate is standing wide open. Anybody can come in uh, with the key of desire. Simply by wanting to know the truth, uh, you can enter this gate of association and uh, find yourself in the exoteric circle. Uh, in the exoteric circle, you are known as a candidate. Well, candidate for what? A candidate for initiation. And sure enough, the next gate is the gate of initiation. Now, you'll notice the gate of initiation is almost closed. It's very narrow. The opening will only permit one person to pass at a time. And that's because the gate of initiation is not like the gate of association. It uh, requires more than just your personal desire to enter. You have to be qualified. And these qualifications are given in the key of wisdom. So let me read to you the key of wisdom, which is taken from the Bhagavad Gita. The Blessed Lord said, Truthfulness, 
fearlessness, purification of one's existence, cultivation of spiritual knowledge, charity, self-control, performance of sacrifice, study of the scriptures, austerity,